everybody. Welcome back to Mama's East Texas Kitchen. I want to welcome you into my kitchen, to my bar. You know, when I started my channel, I wanted to... When I started my channel, it was all about inviting you, the viewer, into my kitchen like I was cooking a meal for you guys. It's all about y'all. I am proud to be showing you and talking to you about... Um, Uncle Steve shakes. I ordered one small little container. And Uncle Steve, you know, he's a Texas boy. Um, he sent me his whole dang collection. I and I and I mean, look, look at these. He sent me the whole dang collection of his shakes to try out. This is not a sponsored video by any means. But, I'm saying, I just bought one little container, and he graciously sent me the whole kit caboodle. So, we are going to give an honest opinion, um, because you can't be bought and sold by Uncle Steve. <laughs> um, I will be trying each individual um, seasoning now. I will tell you, my husband and I have already made the recipe we're making today. We are making ribs in the air fryer using the competition pig powder. We've already tried this, so I already know it's good. Um, but we opened each bottle and tasted it, because that's how you taste spices, right? They're all good. <laughs> so, but this is how you, you do this in the air fryer. You are going to... Spray the bottom of your air fryer. And if you had never had ribs in your air fryer, oh my God. Let me tell you what, they're amazing. You need to. These are some big old uh, spare ribs I got at the HEB. They're huge. Look at these things. All right. I'm going to throw them down here in the bottom of my... We, we had this last night for dinner. And we're okay having them again for lunch. Um, I'm going to cook about four of them. Because I still have leftovers in the refrigerator. Alright. Let me wedge my hands real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to hit it with some of the pig powder. I love the names on these. All right. Then, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of my favorite olive oil. By the way, I'm going to put Uncle Steve's link down here in the description below. So you can... I had heard other uh, cooking channels talk about it. And, you know, he's... Again, he's a Texas boy. He lives just south of me. And I thought, i got to try this guy out. And I saw him on Mr. Cast Iron. You know, i got to support my fellow Texans. So I'm going to set this on about 385 on the beef. And it's going to cook for 30 minutes, except we probably won't cook it for... 30 minutes. I'm going to turn them in 15 minutes and we're going to sprinkle the other side, put a little bit more olive oil on them. We'll see you back in 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to take it out. Oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. We're going to flip these over real quick. I just love ribs in the air fryer. We're going to hit them with some more of our shake. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love this stuff. Now, this is the only one we've cooked with yet. But if the rest of them are as good as this one, mm. I'm going to hit them with a little bit more olive oil. back in 
It says I have 15 minutes left, but honestly, I'm probably going to cook it for about another 10. So we'll see you back here in 10 more minutes. Okay, welcome back, my friends. We are done with our ribs, and they look amazing. so you can see we've got beautiful ribs here I've got some potato salads I've got some I've got some pinto beans that we have canned and made we've got a beautiful lunch here thank you so much for joining us today hey if you like this video check out this other video I got right here on how to make fried pickles in this air fryer and I've got another one down here on how to do chicken wings. Thank you for joining us today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Be sure and check out Uncle Steve's Shakes. I will leave a link for it down here in the description below. We'll see you guys on the next video.